little nugget. Well, let's look at them right here, okay? Okay, you can bite me, I don't care. <laughs> okay, you want to bite me a little bit with those little needles? Okay, you're a good little puppy. All right, I gotta work on you while you squiggle around like a little salmon. <laughs> okay, ooh, never seen an atlas move so much. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna look for that atlas first. It's gonna take me a little bit to get on it. And then I have to figure out which side's worse, left or right. Ooh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever. She's giving you a run for your like money. a little Mexican jumping bean. All right, listen. Oh my God, <laughs> they didn't teach me this in school. What am I supposed to do? RS was founded in 2007 by my partner Christina Chavis um, and we have been in the rescue business ever since. Animal Rescue R Us is an organization that really doesn't turn away dogs. If we're able to help, we will. We take a lot of special needs. We take seniors, we take nursing moms, we take families um, and we really try not to say no if we don't have to. So if someone wanted to make a monetary donation, they can go to our website and there is a secure link there. Nugget was rescued by a woman named Stacy Jordan at a Southern Paws Rescue out of Alabama. Stacy got a call stating that a puppy was severely injured in an abusive home. With backup from local authorities, Stacy and the task force entered the owner's home and forced him to surrender Nugget. The original owner was a meth addict and he had beaten Nugget nearly to death. Stacy drove Nugget all the way to New Jersey and handed her off to Jennifer and Christina because they specialize in rescues with extreme medical challenges. A vet examined Nugget on her arrival and it was confirmed that Nugget has brain damage, the left eye is blind, and the left jaw was broken from the beatings. The vet also said that Nugget did not have to be euthanized because Nugget is currently not in pain and she's enjoying life and can give and receive love. Jennifer decided to keep Nugget. I got to work on Nugget one week after her arrival in New Jersey. I fell in love at first sight. And you can keep um, putting her back on the mat, okay? She's you... gonna she's gonna look for something to hold her, like that she can line up against. Okay. So here, let's put the shoe here. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna make Nugget a little bit of a project. We're gonna try to work on Nugget when we can. Um, Jennifer lives about an hour from me and it's, she's got a lot of responsibilities. So I don't know how often we'll be able to see Nugget, but we're gonna try to give Nugget a few different adjustments and see if it helps. You know, it's a process, and um, but Nugget needs a little care. If anything, I'm gonna just try to take stress off the nervous system and see what we can do. Um, hi, Nugget. Okay, you're so cute. Love you, Nugget. Okay, I'm sorry you've been through so much. Let me pull my mask down. Hi, Nugget. Okay, I'm sorry you've been through this. All right, we're gonna work on you a little bit and see what you look like, see if you have any misalignments. Okay, and try to relax you a little bit. Okay, and get you to um, feel a little better, okay? Maybe you can walk better if we work on you a little bit, okay? All right, let's get started. A little nugget. Well, let's look at them right here, okay? Okay, you can bite me, I don't care. <laughs> okay, you want to bite me a little bit with those little needles? Okay, you're a good little puppy. All right, 
I gotta work on you while you squiggle around like a little salmon. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Never seen an atlas move so much. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna look for that atlas first. It's gonna take me a little bit to get on it. And then I have to figure out which side's worse, left or right. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever She's giving you a run for your like money. A little Mexican jumping bee. All right, listen. Oh my god. <laughs> they didn't teach me this in school. What am I supposed to do? All right. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> okay, you're so cute. Okay, now I'm on the atlas. Got it. Ooh. You could hear that I one. I heard that. Okay. Now you'll probably pee on me. That'd be great. <laughs> okay. So that was a good adjustment. We just got the atlas. The atlas has a lot of pressure, can have a lot of pressure on the spinal cord and the entire nervous system. And um, what are you working on? You working on my face? You just got your beard. <laughs> okay, no one's near. So, do you want to chew on my beard for a second? Okay, look at that. You like that? That's good. That's that's worth a video right there. Maybe we'll be on a thumbnail together. <laughs> okay, look at that. Every once in a while, you have to bite my finger. Is that good for you? All right, let's see what else we got. So it's the left eye that's blind, right? Because mm -hmm. you can see it's cloudy. Yep. It actually doesn't blink, so it's actually causing chronic dry eye. Oh. So she's another one that is on cyclosporine and then eye lubricant. Okay, I got another one here at C6 on the left. Here we go. One, two, three. Got it. Good. Let's bring you this way. Okay, and I'm checking. I'm just checking. So I already got the atlas, and it's like a little. Okay, you biting me? What are you doing? I can't even see. I'm working down. Here's the between the shoulder blades, down the spine, and now we're. Oh, there's one here. At, uh, uh, dogs have seven cervical bones in the neck, 13 thoracics, and seven lumbars. Humans have five lumbars. Lumbars are lower back, but right now we're at T11, 12, 13. Okay, if I get this, you're going to bite me? Oh, that's the best bite. I know, it's a bad one. I think you were... Got it. It was a good one. I needed to do that. It was a tender, tender spot. I think she was beaten there. Let's check in with her and see what her little face looks like. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry that you feel so bad all the time. She has trouble eating, right? Trouble drinking water. Correct. She has trouble doing anything, but she's so positive. That's what we love. Dogs are so positive. She's playful. She loves her food. She loves her treats. Now I'm... She loves her toys. On the sacrum, the little sacrum down here. Here's another one. It might be tender because it's out. No. Okay, you can bite me if you want. I don't really care. Oh, sorry. Actually, I'm a little higher. I'm not... Pull seven, the seventh. Got it. Ooh. <laughs> that was a good one. That was good. Did you like that one? You can buy my beard if you like it. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what else we can check on you. What else can we look at? We're just working on everything because you're so great. I love you. All right. Let's see what else we can do. We're going to check the little, little Atlas again. 
And we're gonna check down the neck. We're looking in there. That's a little one right there. C seven on the left. Got it. Oh, I heard that pop. That popped. Her name's Nugget, but they were confused whether to call it Nugget or Nugget Upsa Daisy. <laughs> I was trying to get up and down. So I think we should call it Nugget Upsa Daisy. Lately, I've been calling her Baby Puppy. <laughs> okay, what else can we do on you? I already did your sacrum, did your atlas. We might have to just give you a little time to heal. You want to show everybody what it looks like when you eat? Yeah? Did you say yes? Mm -hmm. a little bit okay let's go eat now okay you have to stop making out with me stop kissing me you smell good you smell like a puppy like puppy <laughs> so in order for nugget to eat and drink she does need adaptive equipment so this right here is an adaptive bowl and it has a suction on the bottom and that prevents it from sliding and so that when i'm holding her while she's eating i don't have to focus on this i can really just focus on stabilizing her body hold her to yourself i'm gonna put my mask back on mm -hmm. so what i do she goes nuts she loves food so I actually have to physically hold her, like almost like a little bit of a restraint. She's sliding a little bit on the counter, but. <laughs> Got mad at you. <laughs> reset and do some water. It's out of the bowl. It's out of the, it's not sticking that great. It's okay. Okay. So Nugget also has an adaptive water bowl. So I do the same thing. I stabilize and it's really, really important that I want to make sure that her head does not go in the water because if she gets water up her nose and into our lungs, she can aspirate. So water actually is probably the most nerve wracking task in relation to Nugget. And I kind of let her guide me. So right now, I don't have a huge restraint on her. I'm kind of just supporting her body. And then sometimes I can take it away. So um, if you like what you see with Nugget, we're, it's, we're just going to keep... Keep supporting Nugget. You know, I don't know if I can help that much. Uh, I think it's really important for people and animals to get adjusted when they have misalignments. And Nugget certainly has a bunch of misalignments from being beat up and pummeled by her original meth ad addict owner. And so um, let's do the process. And I'll put another video together in a week or so, uh, whenever they can come back and I'll see Nugget again. Um, leave a comment if that's something you're interested in and seeing another installment. Um, and let's just track Nugget and see how Nugget grows up for a little bit, okay? All right. 
Thanks for watching this one.